Okay, so I wanted to show you the results of an experiment that I've been doing. I've replicated this a couple of times and um, so what we have going on here is this is some kitty grass that I grow for topaz and as with all experiments, empirical, um, you know, done, done correctly, an experiment done correctly, we have a control here, meaning that nothing has been done to it. It's just been watered with plain tap water. And Topaz came over to see what I'm doing with her plants because she's been nibbling on these. Um, so yes, so uh, they've all been treated the same way. I keep them in this tray here. I rotate them um, every day. Um, and they, the seeds were sprouted in the same place. Um, same kind of seed, same kind of soil. Here, come here, to Topaz, sit right here. And um, everything has been exactly the same, except for what I've noted on the little containers. So this one was watered with tap water and grew with crystals. And you can see, <laughs> Topaz, no, <laughs> she's pushing the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see the difference in the vitality of the grass and the height and the strength of it. And then we have this one is no crystals but pristine hydro water which I'll do a separate video about that and I, I already did one a while ago when I got the pristine hydro water system put in. It's basically gem elixir water on tap. Um, that is very, very good for your water, cleans your water, establishes the proper pH, takes out all the impurities, even gets rid of, completely gets rid of the chlorine and fluoride in the water, which is difficult to do. Um, and then this one here, which has the best vitality, the best growth, um, the plant is just flourishing, absolutely thriving, has crystals in it and pristine hydro water. Um, so imagine what's going on with your cells. If you're drinking the pristine hydro water, you're immersing them with crystals, um, using gem elixirs, keeping crystals nearby within your electromagnetic field, what could be going on with your cells? Now I will tell you since I've, and here you can see the crystals in, in here, I put two crystals in each of the crystal containers. So this one again is just regular tap water with crystals. We already have a difference. But then look at crystals and pristine hydro water. This one is going off. So as I was saying, I did this experiment a couple of times and at first, if you want to replicate it, I encourage you to do it. Try it yourself. That's the best way to know and see. Um, when you first start to sprout the seeds, they all look the same. It looks like nothing's happening. You know, they'll, they'll sprout and grow just as well with just as much vitality with regular tap water and no crystals as the other ones do. So you won't see a difference. It's when they start to grow that you see a difference in how, in their vitality and how they thrive. Look at this. I have not done anything different with any of them. Same amount of sunlight, same amount of water, the watering, you know, none of them have been um, watered with any less water or anything like that. Topaz approves, she approves. And the next thing to be would see if, you know, if I really, really controlled it to see which one she preferred to eat from. But since I don't sit and watch Topaz all day long to see which grasses she's nibbling on, um, I'm not sure which one is her favorite, but she's purring like crazy and looks like she's favoring the crystals and pristine hydro one right now. And now she's decided to go ahead and nibble on the pristine hydro. Okay. Good decision, Topaz. <laughs> Crystal blessings. Bye.